And now turning to our coverage of today's presidential visit to southern New England, President Biden's plane set to arrive in Warwick in just about an hour from now. The president stopped here part of his push for action on climate change and a clean energy future. As you can imagine, a presidential visit involves a lot of logistics. It's an exciting opportunity for our area to be in the spotlight. Let's start our team coverage with Shannon Heggy live at TF Green Airport in Warwick. Good afternoon, Danielle and Patrick. Yes, the president is set to arrive here at TF Green around 1.15, just over my right shoulder on this tarmac here. We're actually right in the entrance to a bay of the TF Green Fire Department. That is the media staging area here. We've been here since around 8 this morning, along with members of Secret Security. They actually just performed a sweep of all of our gear and our trucks about 10 minutes before we came on the air for obvious safety reasons. Now, Governor McKee tweeting this morning that he will be greeting the president on the tarmac when he arrives. This visit kind of came as a surprise. You may remember on Monday at 11 on 12 News, we brought it to you as breaking news that the president may be coming to the area. It was confirmed by Tuesday morning, and here we are today awaiting his arrival. As you said, he will be traveling to Somerset to the former Brayton Point power plant. Uh, now, the last time he landed here in Rhode Island was actually in May of 2021. Uh, he then traveled to Connecticut to give the commencement address at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy in New London. But again, after he lands here at TF Green, he will be traveling to Somerset. And that's where we find my colleague Kate Walsh, who's live to tell us more about what we can expect from the visit. Kate. Well, we're live at Brayton Point Commerce Center right through the gate. And this is what's going on right now. Just to give you a behind the scenes look that Shannon kind of mentioned too. the security is searching all vehicles. We had to leave the premise, get searched and then come back in here before any of the vehicles can go through another checkpoint and then over to where the president will be delivering remarks. Now, President Biden and his team chose this location because this was the final coal fired power plant in Massachusetts. It closed years ago, but it will soon become a green energy manufacturing facility. President Joe Biden is struggling to have Congress pass his climate agenda. He's using this as an example of a transition to clean energy to make his point and talk about investments in that industry. The owner of Brayton Point Commerce Center said groundbreaking for this new facility here will be next year around the same time. Massive cables will be made here that will be used out at sea to connect windmills together and then the wind farm to land here in Massachusetts. The power plant closed in 2017. You remember the cooling towers imploding in 2019. But since then, this has served as a scrap metal business in part. But residents along Brayton Point Road complained of the loud noises from the trucks at all hours. The owner told me they stopped that business in May. Along the road, President Biden will see signs from residents supporting clean energy and wind energy. Politics aside, they said it's exciting to have the president put Somerset on the map. It's a small town. We've never had anyone really this big visit. Um, so it'll be a really cool opportunity for the town to have the president of the United States come and visit. So. As President Biden turns on to Brayton Point Road from Wilbur Avenue, he'll see protesters as well. This was earlier this morning as they started to gather. Now, President Biden's visit is also impacting area businesses as well. All the way down Brayton Point Road at the corner of Wilbur Ave is a local institution, Rogers Restaurant. They told me they're closing at 2 this afternoon instead of 8 o'clock tonight just to avoid all of the traffic and detours that will come from the president's visit around that same time. Live in Somerset, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Kate, thank you. Now, as you can imagine, there are going to be heavy travel impacts as the president goes from TF Green to Somerset with his motorcade. Uh, a reminder, as you look at this map, the interstate highways up from Warwick to Cranston, Providence, East Providence, Seekonk, Swansea, and Somerset expect shutdowns and traffic backups now through 4 p.m. Uh, the White House not providing anything further than that for obvious reasons. So if you have to be on the roads, you'll just have to pack your patience. But we will bring you live coverage throughout the day. We'll also have a cut in live when the president arrives uh, during programming at 1:15. We'll see you then. For now, I'm live at TF Green. Shannon Heggie, 12 News.